Hey folks, uh, I'm going to do another video about uh, criminal development group. I mean civic development group, civic development group. Um, New Brunswick, New Jersey was the main office. Uh, and every weekend we got to call unlisted phone numbers. Whether it be New Jersey, New York, you know, wherever. That was most of it, New Jersey, New York. And people would say to me on the phone, how did you get this number? The phone company, you know. But everything is done by computer. You know, um, people with money can do whatever they want, and um, nobody realizes this. You know, you just go down the sequence of combinations of numbers in a, in a given area code, and that's how you get unlisted numbers. So we would get the operating room of the hospital. We would get the police station. We would get phone booths. All kinds of stuff, you know, on, on teen lines, you know. Somebody's 15 years old, and they get their phone line in their bedroom, telemarketing them for the FOP or whatever. <laughs> and uh, once we uh, had to, I mean, it happened a few times, but I remember one incident very specifically when we, there was a, an office building we were calling on the weekend with about 500 phone lines and they're all numbers in sequence. And this person who was sitting at the security desk would say, would you please stop calling? There is no one here, you will get me. There is no one else here in the building, you will only get me. And there was nothing I could, I couldn't stop calling. It was the computer that was arranging the phone calls, you know. I would just sit there with the headset and read the script after I hear the beep that they picked up the phone, you know. And uh, this poor person had to take 500, you know, scam PBA phone calls on a Friday night, you know. So it, it was pretty damn funny <laughs> back when I was younger, back in the 1990s. You know, 500 phone calls sitting at a desk, in a, you know, in an empty office building. Would you please stop calling? <laughs> And there were there were other buildings like that where we would go down the list of combinations. Or I, I don't. That's just my guess. I mean, what else did they do to get unlisted numbers? You know, just go down the combinations, and you know, I get, oh hey man, this is a telephone booth you're calling. You know, this is a payphone. They'd say we call the operating room of the hospital. They they'd say, oh imagine the doctor standing there with the kidney in one hand and the phone in the other, <laughs> taking a stupid telemarketing call. It was it was pretty damn funny, but you couldn't do it now because there's no uh, not everything's like cell phones, you know. I don't. Know. I still get telemarketing calls, but <sighs> I don't know what kind of person still gives money over the phone to someone who calls them. I don't know. If you want me to keep it up, put something down in the comments, folks, and. Uh, Give me a like if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I need some guidance as to where I'm going to go with this uh, YouTube channel. So give me some suggestions. I'll talk to you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye.